I'm Ryan from ExtremeTerrain.com and this is my review of the TerraFlex Rear Disc Brake Kit fitting all 1987 to 2006 Wranglers. Today we're going to talk through the installation of this kit, which I am going to give a 2 out of 3 wrenches. If you do want to tackle this in your driveway, you can probably get the job done in right around 3 hours or so. The vast majority of the braking power on your Jeep comes from the front brakes, and that's really not going to change if you do a rear disc conversion. You are going to get a little bit more stopping power, but mostly the benefit of a set of brakes like this, in my opinion, is going to be maintenance. Having to change drum brakes all the time can get a little bit tedious with all of the springs and clips that you need to swap out. So with something like this, changing the brakes becomes much simpler. You can just unbolt the caliper and swap out the pads. When considering this kit, there are a couple of things to think about. One, you're not going to be able to reinstall the ABS tone ring if you do have ABS on your Jeep. Two, you are going to have to purchase an additional kit that's going to have your emergency brake cables and you're also going to have to change out some of the hard lines in order to make them work with this new kit. And finally, depending on what wheels you have, you may or may not have some clearance issues with the calipers and you may or may not need to get some longer wheel studs. Now, all in all, this is one of a couple different rear disc brake conversions that we offer, and this one is going to be the most expensive. Now, in general, TerraFlex makes some very high quality products, and I think this is right along those same lines, very well built and very well put together. However, some of those other kits will save you a couple of dollars if you're on a little bit of a budget. This kit is going to include most of the major components you need to get it installed on your Jeep, but there are those additional considerations that you will need to think about. And some of the other kits on the market do include some of those additional components, and some of those kits are also a little bit less expensive than this one. So it comes down to your budget and what you're getting for your money. Overall, I think the components in this kit are very high quality. You're going to get, of course, your backing plates that are going to have your caliper brackets built right into them. And these are designed for an emergency brake that goes on the inside of your disc, which is pretty traditional for a disc brake setup like this. Those are gonna give you some pretty good holding power. Of course, these are going to come with single piston calipers out back and your rotors as well. You're going to have your pads, really all of the components that you need to get the basic system installed. And then you're going to have to have all of those additional parts that we talked about before to really make this work and work properly. So like I said before, two out of three wrenches here, probably around three hours, and you are gonna need quite a few tools out of your toolbox in order to get this installed. The first step is gonna be, of course, jacking up the Jeep, support it by the axle, pull the wheel off, and get all of the factory braking components out of the way. From there, if you have a C-clip axle like the Dana 35 factory axle in most TJs and some YJs, you're gonna to have to pull your differential cover to get to the C-clip in order to pull the axle out of the axle assembly and get the old backing plate out of the way. Then you can go ahead and start with your new installation using all of these components. The backing plate will go in place, then you'll slide your new disc over top of your axle once that's reinstalled in the Jeep. Finally, install the new calipers with the caliper pads. Of course, that's a very quick overview. This is something that's probably gonna take you a few hours, probably around three hours to get done. And again, if you're not comfortable doing this much disassembly of your axle, this is something you can take to a shop and have them install. This kit's gonna come in at right around $625, and there are some less expensive kits on the market that I mentioned before that are going to have some additional components. The Omix ADA kit does come with those emergency brake cables, and there's a G2 kit that comes with drilled and slotted rotors if you're interested in that. Both of those kits are going to be a little bit less expensive than this one. Now, I'm not trying to take anything away from this kit. Again, I think that TerraFlex in general makes a very high quality product, and I think that the components that are included here are right in line with that, very, very well built. So if you have the budget for it and you're looking for a premium option for a rear disc brake conversion, I would definitely recommend considering this one. So if you're looking to swap those rear drum brakes for a disc brake setup to give you a little bit of additional stopping power, but mostly to make maintenance on your rear brakes that much easier and you have a budget, this is going to be a premium option. So that's my review of the TerraFlex rear disc brake kit fitting all 1987 to 2006 Wranglers that you can find right here at ExtremeTerrain.com.